Right, sorry about this. I had somebody knocking at the door and I, and I don't want to go back into it because it, it just takes me out of my zone. So this video has got two videos. So um, again, just for YouTube, this is Cancerian Astrology for September 2019 Part 2. Okay, sorry about this, but there you go. Um, so like I say now, it's about letting go of all this baggage and tidying up things now to bring in the new. And and as I was touching on about this year, it's about clearing up things, you know, so we can put things in a, in a tidier place. And then we've cleared all the space ready for the new to come in to embrace. So this is what it's all about now and embracing everything that's going on around us. So you've just got to decide now which way you want to go about things and, and try and letting go of all this negative stuff so we can embrace the new. Because here we're going on to a new passage of our lives now and this is where we're going or where we should be going. We don't want to be going backwards, we want to be going forwards. So where's this boat taking us? The boat is your life, you know, your new direction in a sense. Okay, so that was generally. Okay, so let's have a look now for work and career for you Cancerians of what's coming in. So most of you, as you're moving forward, should start to feel a bit more empowered that I'm ready to perhaps take on more, take on a bit more responsibility. Or you might be feeling that you've reached that kind of fulfilment and you're happy doing what you're doing. So no right, no wrong here. You've got to go the way you feel. But there's this kind of empowerment coming in here and you've got to connect with your wishes and dreams now of what you want to be doing. Some of you are going to be thinking of definitely walking away from a few jobs. It's like as if to say it's not working for me anymore now. I'm ready to let go and start a new path and I think that's a good thing. But the trouble is some of you are very much in the balance of things as if to say, oh, don't let go of my job. You know, that's upsetting the balance for me. I can't do it. And you need to come out that comfort zone. You need to come out of your balance now and take a bit of a chance. And then as you do that, you can get where you need to be. But the trouble is here, we're overthinking it. So try not to overthink things now. It's about resolving things with the lover's card coming out now. You've got to resolve your careers a little bit now about where you want to go, where you want to push yourself, what you want to achieve and how you're going to get there. And I would say within the next four weeks or four months, I feel so you should have figured out what you're doing and how you're getting there because it's all there for the taking. OK, and I just feel so it's good. Some of you as well may have arguments and disagreements with other work colleagues or employ the employers. OK, and I just feel it's a bit delicate. I feel like you've got to. Sit back and work it out whether you feel like you can stand up to the people that you're having arguments and disagreements with. Or is it the best buy to just cut your losses and move on? Okay, so different situations will judge different ways of doing it. But by all means, try and resolve things. And if you can't resolve it, then end the job, walk away from it, have your fresh start and it will restore the balance back for you. And that's the way to look at it. It's about what makes you happy now. And this is what it's all about. So don't just sit there in this job, having arguments, disagreements, feeling stressed. Because it's not good. You can take that stress home with you. And it's going to affect your relationships. It's going to affect your children. It's going to affect you. It's like you're going to wake up the next day. Friggin' it. I don't want to go work. So why, why get wound up? Why get stressed? All for a pay packet. It ain't worth it. Come on. You know, at the end of the day, there are jobs out there. So why put up with something? Work is off your life. If you're not happy with what you're doing and you take that home with you, it's a ripple effect. 
you know, it causes negativity. So you've got to be happy in your lives. I know it's easy for me to say, just quit your job and go. I know it's not always as simple as that, but you've got to think about your health and your well-being. Okay, so is stress good for you or is happiness and good for you? Stress good for you or is happiness good for you? Which is which? I'm not going to say, you tell me. And you know the answers, comment below. Okay, so this is what you need to be doing now. You need to sort of get yourself sorted, focus on tidying things up, don't keep overthinking it, create the change, and you'll be onwards and upwards. Okay. Right. Let's have a look at relationships. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. That really tells the story there to me straight away. Okay. Oh, that and that. Okay. And here we go with the past again, you Cancerians. You've got to stop thinking about the past. You've got to start looking forwards. Okay. Right, so you Cancerians, do not trust at all. You're very wary. Okay, and this mistrust is causing negativity. It's, it's like it's holding you back. It's stopping you moving forward. It's a bit like saying, I'm damned if I do and I'm damned if I don't. So as if I, I, I put all this mistrust behind me, I throw all my energy into a relationship and I go for it. And if it all goes wrong, it's like, oh, God, I shouldn't have done that. I've uh, let down, put yourself back, never again. But then if you do do it, you could get what you want. So I think what I'm trying to say is grandma would say you've got to crack a few eggs before you get the right one. So in other words, yes. You could say, right, I'm going to go for this relationship. I'm going to open myself up or I'm going to put the energy into what I've got to make it work. But then I get hurt and I let down. It's all gone, gone wrong. But then it could all go right. So damned if you do, damned if you don't. But I think what I'm trying to say is, is you've got to do it. Because if it goes wrong, fine, it goes wrong. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, move on, start afresh. And then you'll get this relationship here that's good. So you've got to start trusting. But I do get the feeling as if to say one of you, one or two of you at the moment are in a bit of a position where there's a little bit of negativity going around you. I don't think it's quite as negative as the way it's portrayed there. But I do get the feeling one or two, one or two of you are going to be watching this video. It's going to make sense. And you've got to decide now what you want to do about this relationship. But I do get the feeling for most of you, it's about learning to trust. You've got to learn to trust. And that's a major issue. So as you build your life back up, you're going to get where you need to be. And also, some of you have got to start choosing wisely who you let in. And what I mean by this is, us men, we're not angels, are we? Let's face it. So I feel like you've got, some of you have got to stop sort of giving too much of yourself straight away. It's like we want a new relationship to come in here, want a new relationship because there's a new energy. But then it's like sometimes if we're single, these relationships aren't treating us right. And you may be trying to please, and I just feel so don't please too much, make them work for you, okay? You need a man to come in now and to respect you. So try and get the energy right. I know it's not easy. So that's if you're single, don't give yourself away too easily. But if you are in a relationship, I just feel so a few little things need tidied up. You've got to start learning to trust and if you are single, you've got to learn to trust as well. And also, they, you, they, they've they got to trust you as well. You know, it's, this isn't just about women. This is about men as well. But overall, there's hope for the future. And I just get the feeling as if to say, you know, where are you going? 
sort of long term over the next six months. I'm just getting put. Hmm. Yeah, see, victory, we, we're getting there. If we get this trust issue sorted, we're going all right. But, you know, nothing's ever perfect. Life will be a bit up and down. We've got a little bit of juggling to do. But we'll get there. We'll get there. But we've got to learn to trust. Trust is the biggest thing that holds us back. Okay. Right, let's have a look at family. Right, so when it comes to family, I get the feeling, you know, there's, there's some disagreements in a bit of awkwardness and it's affecting relationships a little bit, affecting your relationship with your partner. And, you know, it could be, you know, you're not getting on with somebody's family. So just watch that a little bit. I'm also being drawn for some of you, there's going to be news of a baby coming into the world. And I feel so that's going to be a roundabout sort of, uh, July, August time and also there's going to be some discussions over family homes um, I get the feeling somebody's going to be wanting to move in with the family for a short period of time to just sort a particular situation out which I don't think is a bad thing because it's going to help balance finances out a little bit but it just feels though it could cause a little bit of awkwardness okay Living with family is great, we're helping each other and then tensions start to build in. So try and sort of not aggravate things and try to be pleased and remember somebody's helping you or you're helping them and and you've just got to try and keep the peace between the both of you. Okay. Also, some of you have been looking at somebody in family where I feel like they've got a bit of a problem and you're trying to help them. But you've got to realise if to say, do they want helping you may think they do and you may be trying to, but they've got to help themselves. If you know if they don't want to help themselves, how the hell can you get them to change? So just watch that a little bit. Just be careful. OK, but I just feel as though things will come together. It's going to be a bit of a funny month for families, but I just feel so for you cancerians, whatever's going on around you. Just try and stay out of negative situations to do with family, but help them as best as you can. But be careful how you do help them or how they help you, because they may sort of exert their point of view on you and you're appreciating their help, but you're not appreciating them coming in, mixing things up and telling you what to do. So it could be one way or other this could go. You know, it's either problems with them or problems with you. But either way, the situation's there. So just keep an eye on that a little bit, okay? Right, let's have a look at money. The root of all evil, but we can't live without it, can we? We all need money to pay the bills and try and enjoy life a little bit. Okay, right, money's not too bad there. You're trying to focus on the money. You're feeling a bit more secure with it. That's good. It's like you're, you're keeping an eye on the money. You've got some decisions to make with money. But other than that, money's all right. Star card saying money's looking good for the future. So at the moment, it's like you could be well on the mark. But if you're not on the mark, you will be. You're kind of getting there with it because that's what it's saying. You're going to sort the finances out. Okay, and let's have a look at health. Okay, keep an eye on tension headaches. Uh, try and really focus on your health and well-being this month, looking after yourself diet-wise. I'm not talking about dieting. I'm talking about eating properly, drinking properly and sleeping properly. And just watch out if some of you are feeling a bit bored. Because if you don't focus on bringing positive things in, depression comes after this. And also that doesn't help you to look after yourself. So keep an eye on things that are getting you down, feeling a bit depressive because we're not changing, we're not moving forward. And it's affecting your health and well-being. Keep an eye on your left arm playing up a little bit as well. 
but other than that you're not too in too bad of a place so thank you very much for listening sorry it's in two parts um, so hope you've enjoyed that if you do want a private reading please do get in touch with me through facebook or by calling me and tune into your next video thank you very much